Hello, welcome to implementing SAP.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about introduction to SAP. Okay, so let's start with the basics. What's the objective of a company? Is to make money. How does a company make money by producing product or service and by selling uh, that to customers? Okay, in order to produce product or service, company might want to buy some raw material and company might want to buy some operating supplies and they are bought from vendors. Okay, now. Beside customers and vendors, company also need to manage their employees. Company hire employees so that employees can help company make money, and company needs to pay the employees. And also, company would have some assets like you know vehicles, land, etc. Uh, and of course, these assets would be used in the process of making money as well. And if company is in retail business, company would be carrying some kind of inventory as well. For example, Dell Corporation would be buying uh, hardware so that laptops could be assembled and sold right so there would be an inventory of the hardware within the company so uh, other than that company would have a bank account in some kind of bank and bank would be sending uh, bank statements monthly or periodically to this company okay so company would be managing customers vendors employees assets inventory bank and uh, this is just an example of a typical business company might be managing other entities as well so how would a company uh, manage all these entities in order to do that, company uh, has departments. Each department has a fixed role. Com each department deals with specific area of the business. For example, finance department deals with the reporting, and HR department deals with the uh, with managing employees, etc. So a typical company is divided into departments. Okay. Uh, more example would be payables department dealing with vendors, receivable department dealing with customers, sales and marketing department doing sales and marketing, manufacturing department dealing with the manufacturing of the company okay now each department would be using some kind of software to help the department run day to day business okay and they can buy software from any vendor these softwares could be really independent from one another for example finance department using one software human resources department using some other software from another vendor okay now what where uh, where the SAP SAP comes into the uh, picture okay so there is a special kind of software called ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning. It's a very large software, used software, which would have com modules. Okay, uh, so there would be a module for each department of the company. So instead of buying a standalone software, each department would be using a module of this ERP software. Okay, one or two modules would suffice uh, f for each department, and. As a whole, company would say we are running an ERP application, and uh, what would that mean to each department? Each department using uh, standalone modules of the same ERP application. So, what is ERP? ERP simply means Enterprise Resource Planning. It's a category of a software, and uh, there are various ERP softwares out there in the market. So, ERP software manages the whole enterprise, as we just saw in the last slide. Let's talk about the ERP market. SAP is the leader in ERP market. Latest version of SAP is called SAP ECC, ERP Central Computing. Formerly, SAP used to be known as SAP R3. That was the previous version before SAP ECC. It's no more a latest version. The second largest player is Oracle eBusiness Suite, uh, formerly used to known as Oracle Applications. Microsoft also produced uh, their ERP called Dynamics, before uh, formerly used to known as business solutions okay uh, PeopleSoft and JD Edwards were also big players uh, PeopleSoft was purchased by Oracle and JD Edwards uh, JD Edwards was purchased by PeopleSoft now uh, both PeopleSoft and JD Ed Edwards are part of Oracle Corporation okay now let's talk about uh, the company SAP AG AG simply means incorporated in German so uh, SAP AG simply means SAP incorporated uh, SAP should be pronounced as SAP not SAP okay that's very unprofessional and very wrong most people call SAP as SAP uh, now SAP is the largest player in ERP market it was founded in 1972 by some three IBM scientists it's pretty old company it has 46,000 customers 100,000 plus implementation worldwide running okay that's pretty big uh, it has 43,000 employees so it's a large company okay now, having said that, let's talk about SAP software itself. So SAP AG produces SAP business software uh, called SAP ECC. So you can divide SAP ECC into products and components. Okay, so major product and components of SAP uh, software are SAP ERP, 
Enterprise Resource Planning, SAP CRM, Customer Relationship Management, SAP SRM, Supplier Relationship Management, SAP NetWeaver, which is a um, technology stack uh, running underneath the whole uh, business application. We have SAP PLC, uh, Product Life Cycle. Okay. So each product or component can be divided further into modules. For example, SAP ERP have multiple modules. FICU is the most popular module of SAP ERP. When you configure SAP, you configure that at module level. Okay, so uh, uh, each module is configured, whatever module company wants to use, and uh, this is how it works. Now let's talk about modules. Each module is specialized. That means each module deals with particular area of the business. So it's kind of standalone software. But yet, all modules talk to each other. That creates synergy. Uh, two ways of communication happens. Uh, two kind of communication happens between uh, modules. Uh, not all modules could talk to each other. Like most related modules talk to each other. Entities are shared. For example, if you want to store employee, uh, uh, if employee entity is used by two different modules, then you don't really have to enter employees again in, in, the, uh, in the second module. If you enter it in one module, the second module will simply pick that data from the first module okay and data is transferred from one module to another as well for example in invoices flow from one module to another uh, so two kind of communication happens now let's talk about uh, the technology uh, behind SAP so SAP is basically a three-tiered architecture uh, browser uh, is mainly used to access uh, SAP application you can also use uh, the thick client like you can download SAP GUI graphic user interface for Windows and for for Linux we have like win uh, GUI and Java GUI uh, so our browser could be used as well so it's a three uh, tiered architecture a uh, presentation layer is your desktop laptop or even mobile devices uh, so you basically uh, your device connect to the middle tier. Middle tier is the, the, the large computer with lots of resources and actual or SAP application is residing in the middle tier or application tier. There's the business logic uh, tier of, of the three tier architecture. The, so your browser is simply displaying the image. The actual software is running on the middle tier. So if three people are connected, all the three, uh, uh, three screens are being processed uh, in the middle tier, all three people are basically seeing the image of uh, produced by the middle tier, and data is stored in the database uh, tier. Oracle is the most popular ch uh, choice of the database when it comes to SAP, and uh, so the relational database management system sitting in the database tier would basically manage your database, and middle tier, which is your application, would be talking to the database to retrieve the data and to store the new data. Uh, in the database okay so it's pretty flexible architecture uh, in the sense like if number of users increase in your company you can increase the middle tier from one to two or three okay so now a few people would connect to tier one uh, like middle tier uh, node one and few people connect to uh, uh, instance two few and rest people will connect to instance three okay so now this will be kind of load sharing and all these three tiers middle tiers would be talking to the same database okay so uh, and also uh, it's much better architecture than as opposed to the client server architecture in client server architecture all the business logic would be sitting on your desktop and there wouldn't be any middle tier so now if you want to upgrade your uh, forms and reports and if you want to upgrade your business logic you have to run the patches on each computer which is pretty inefficient now if you want to upgrade your business logic you simply you know do the uh, the patching at the middle tier and that's pretty much at your database tier and your presentation tier, uh, tier remains untouched so it's pretty flexible in maintenance and scalability okay so now we know that data is stored in the database and data is stored in the t in tables and table you, you can imagine table as a spreadsheet with that which would have columns and records okay uh, so that's pretty much it I hope you uh, enjoyed the introduction to SAP if you want to learn more about SAP you can visit my website implementing sap.com thank you